Hey folks, this is Vagrant and welcome to Mass Effect 3, the final game in the original trilogy and indeed the final game in Clara Shepard's adventures, in her saga, in her journey from her first introduction as Spectre all the way here, taking down the Collectors and that first Reaper and all that, and we're ready to start the final part of that journey. Really excited about this, I've played a lot more Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 than Mass Effect 3. I'm not totally convinced I ever finished Mass Effect 3, I definitely didn't play any of the DLC. Um, it was around the time I stopped gaming for quite a long time when the game came out, so I actually am going to learn a lot of new stuff. I'm actually really excited about this one. Um, just to recap where we left off with the first, the second game I should say, we'd been sort of called back to Earth and we destroyed a Batarian star system in order to stop the mass relay, allowing the Reapers through, so we kind of got called because we killed like 300,000 people or something, and we're going to have a look at some of our other choices in a second. So. We're going to import a Me Too character, and there is our Clara Shepard, lovely stuff, and there's all the decisions we made up till this point. We saved the Rachni Queen, we saved Ashley Williams, we sacrificed the Council, we saved Malon's data. That was all the stuff about uh, curing the Genophage, if you remember, sort of midway through the last game. We kept Rex alive, we destroyed the Geth Heretics, that was the big... Near enough, every choice I've made has been Paragon. Destroying the Geth Heretics was my big renegade decision, so we'll see how that one plays out. We destroyed the Collector base, that was a much easier decision to make. We survived the suicide mission with all 12 people alive, very cool. We romanced Liara in Mass Effect 1, and we actually didn't romance anyone at all in Mass Effect 2. I didn't really get the option other than Thane, and as much as I love my, you know, shooty, killy lizard boy, I just didn't want to, you know, bang him, basically, <laughs> right? So let's import that character. Now, I've done this about 10 times. I'm having the same problem I had back when Mass Effect 3 first came out. The first is that the lighting here is terrible and the face creator is a bit weird. And this Shepard doesn't look like my Shepard. For a start, she's blonde. <laughs> my character in both games up till this point has been a redhead. So why they made her a blonde is absolutely beyond me. Absolutely no idea why that's the case. So I've been looking around the internet for... Uh, I actually don't mind that one nearly as much. It doesn't... I just You can't change the default appearance. I'd like to change the hair and I'd like to change the eyes a little bit. And I can't do that, which is really annoying. So, it is a lot better though, isn't it? <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to go into Custom Appearance, and I'm going to go down to Code, and I'm going to put a code in. Boop! Now, that is not going to be our final Shepherd. So, basically, there's something you can do here with, like, a Gibbed save editor, wherein... Like, it's, it's really hard to explain, but basically, it should make our Shepherd look better, basically, I think. I hope. I hope this is... that I've got it all right, and this is how it's going to work. So, basically, we're going to move forward with this character, and... Before even the first cutscene starts, I'm going to do a little save editing and hopefully we'll get a good redhead shepherd, which is very much what I'm looking for, you know? So what I'm going to say is, don't worry too much that this doesn't necessarily look like our shepherd. The hair's kind of wrong. I've, I've changed the eye colour around. It should, by the time the game starts, in a second, it should look okay. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. 
The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Ladies and gentlemen, that took bloody ages. I finally have it. I'm really happy. I think she looks great. Still looks like our Shepherd. A little bit of a change. You know, the hairs. She's got a bit more makeup on. A bit more than I'd like around the eyes. I did get rid of it on the cheeks. Uh, her hair's kind of let loose and a little bit more ragged. And that makes a lot of sense in universe. You know, she's been off duty. She's been hanging around hot food and warm beds, as she says. You know, she's been living in on Earth, just kind of chilling off duty. So... She should relax a little bit more. She's less hardcore military mode, but now she's thrust back into the action. It's all very exciting. You know we're not ready if it is them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one that blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Vega is hench. Good luck in there, Shepard. James is Vega, by the way. <laughs> Anderson? Shepard? Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander. You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Uh, so that's Ashley, apparently. So we saw her in the last game and she looked at... You can tell what I'm on about, about how much people have changed across these games. Because that Ashley does not look like the Ashley of the last two games. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Come on. Well, she's being a lot nicer to me than she was last time, anyway. You know the commander. I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But, there must be some way. Maybe if you'd listen to me from the start. Also, interesting, this seems... This is the Alliance Council. Oh, it's the Alliance, it's not the Citadel. Okay, that makes more sense. Over on Earth, aren't we? Of course. What am I on about? Anyways, we will stand together. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? 
Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Good old Blighty coming in strong. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. This is the invasion we've been talking about for two games now. Come on, Shepard. Ash is headed to the Norman. No. Okay, so I have to do something very quickly. Because as per usual, the game has no sense of balance in its sound at all. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna knock those way down. Let the dialogue actually be it'd be nice to hear the dialogue, basically. You know, that sounds like a really good idea to me. Pick us up if we can get to the space. Let's move. Let's move! <laughs> and this is the most bizarre run. <laughs> How do you stop something so powerful? Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Look at this. In Mass Effect. Jumping over things. Crazy. Come on, let's go. To go this way. Climbing ladders. Craziness. Looks clear. Let's go. Lieutenant Commander, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got the Finn Vega with me, but we're taking heavy fire. Husks! Take him out! Oh, there they are. Shoot him! That's some terrible aiming going on here. You haven't forgot how to shoot, have you? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> Apparently. I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. There we go. That's more like it. Come on, you cheeky little blighters. I have, a... I have to take these things out the old-fashioned way. Oh no. All right, let's go punch him in the face then. I guess. I have a fairly strong suspicion that the game is not running in 1080p right now. Is it just me? It doesn't look like 1080p, does it? Don't let him grab you. What? Get one done. Gotta find a way out of here. Oh! 
<gasps> I love it. Oh, <laughs> that's very cool. Through this way. You're right, kid. Hey. It's okay. Everyone's dying. <laughs> Come here. I need to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't stop them all. Shepard! In here. This is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. It might be the only thing that saves us. The Council has to help us. That hasn't gone particularly well in the past, you has it? sound so sure. Yeah. Nothing's sure. Look around you. What options do we have? <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Oh, sweet. Reload. Let's keep moving. Come on. It hasn't been that long since you've handled a weapon. You didn't even do anything. What are you complaining about? <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Jesus. Commander Williams, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. Ooh. Ooh, I can roll! Ooh. The running animations look super weird to me. Hey! It's like she's putting like an orangutan or something. Normandy, we're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in! Friendlies! Friendlies? Oh, hi lads. You two alright? Get down! They'll see you! Where are they? Oh god! Keep your head down! Cannibal! Nice shot! Just, just get in the hang of it again. It feels very different. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, I just realized I made a mistake. So you don't actually get to choose the difficulty from the get-go. So we need to... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> and so we're playing, we're playing the game on Insanity. That is the idea. I said we're going to play on the uh, hardest difficulty. So that's what we're going to do. Because I'm a baller. What can I say? I've got some more ammo. Oh, we're good. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No. There's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Let's get to that gunship. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die so many times. <laughs> I am ready to be heard again. Let's go. I don't think I've ever played through one in Sanity. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Can't go this way, Anderson, buddy. I'll go this way. 
hell is that? Why do the Reapers have dragons? <laughs> Why don't we have dragons? If we had dragons, we'd be much better off. What the hell are those things? Terrifying is what they are. There we go. Oh, Anderson's got power. That's what. And he's got a concussive shot. Oh boy. Oh my god, I got shredded! Now, this, the health system works differently now. See, I've got like bars and I don't get those bars back without using a med kit. So the game is going to be really punishing. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Oh, can't lose that bar. Unless we make it, but the game hasn't. Eh. Yeah, okay. Whew, okay. Am I just meant to be killing all these? Is that what I'm doing? I think it just means, really, that managing your shield is going to become even more important than it did last game. So I'm low shield, I have to be careful. I also need some bloody ammo. I know there's some right in front of me, but I can't seem to... <gasps> Jesus, no, no, go for a shepherd, what are you doing? Go back. <laughs> not safe, not safe, not safe. Bloody Nora, Shep. There we go. We good? I think we're good. Come on, Nando. Let's roll, buddy. Sure, I'm zooming my search in. Gotta look around. You never know what you'll find. Guess we're going down here, though. Find the radio. Okay. Oh, nice. Got an assault rifle. Battle rifle, I believe they're called. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Damn it, I lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Love these things. God damn it. Just about lost that bar. Oh, ow! Did you just. You cheeky little blighter. I might be crazy, but I swear I just got hit a couple times through my uh, cover there. Oh, careful, careful, careful. This is rough. Gonna need you to pull the lead out a little bit more here, buddy. Hope they get there soon. We got this, Anderson. You and me, buddy. Just like the old days. Just like the old days. Right, I'm gonna get in like better cover. Bloody Nora. <laughs> I'm wondering how long it is until I regret playing on Insanity. There's more of them. Oh, there always is. They, they remind me a lot of the uh, the Scions, you know, the Husk Scions. Cavalry has arrived. Yes, the Normandy's back, my boys. About time. And she a beaut. Let's go. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going. You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. 
We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. My Shepard's looking good. Come on, Anderson. You better hold out, buddy. You better make it to the end, I swear to God. It's always a worrying thing. This is the last game in the trilogy. People are gonna die. They just are. Oh, come on. Get out of there, kid. the cooler openings to a video game, in my opinion. Not as good as Mass Effect 2's, Mass Effect 2's was insane, but very, very cool. Hangar seal, decompressing. Welcome aboard, Commander. Edie, it's good to hear your voice. You flying us? <laughs> Seriously? That hurts, Shepard. Hey, Joker, it's good to hear you too. No time for chit-chat, we got inbound, and we are seriously outnumbered. Understood, but we're not staying. What the hell? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. We don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off someplace. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Commander, I'm receiving a priority call from Admiral Hackett. He's requesting Admiral Anderson. Patch it through. Admiral, it's Commander Shepard. Anderson is on... Shepard. Sustained heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to... That's our post on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Vrothian archives with Dr. Tassoni. We have found a way to stop the Reapers. Only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars Archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. <laughs> Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know. Yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Right. 
I'm getting weird little origin achievements for this. <laughs> I didn't get any for the first two games. I wonder why. So we're going to Mars, the Mars Archives. The Sony's there, Liara, our beloved. The Shadow Broker. <laughs> and uh, remember when we first met her, she was researching Profian Artifacts. Oh, that, that was a long old time ago now. I've been trying to reach Mars on secure channels. No one's answering. Any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. It's funny that all three Mass Effects have a slightly dull <laughs> human male soldier with short dark hair. That's what's Cadence I was, I'm not sure. Caden, Jacob and James. What a trio. Still no contact from the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're going to have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Right. So this is my crew. Oh god, what? We got a level 30 instantly. I suppose we were level 29 in the last game. It's not a big deal because the game will scale me up, I suppose. As in... Everything that goes on will be scaled to us, but uh, the problem is I haven't done any research. <laughs> I need my research. I see we've got the, this is why it stops there because once you hit this point, you get to choose a path. And I don't know what to take, so I'm actually going to hold off. But what we can do is level up others. And you can see we've got a little bit of rep as well. Our Paragon rep is up there a little bit again because we carried on our character. To an extent, it feels a little bit dirty. I totally get that. Especially the level 30. I didn't expect it to carry on quite so strongly. Why are we level 30? That seems really high. Hmm. Anyways. Um, you can see our Paragon's carried on a little bit as well. I'm just going to put some stuff in here. Uh, Alliance Officer, yeah, always a good idea. I care less about doing this properly when it's, you know, not my stuff, basically. It's a nice bonus there, what do we do? We get weapon damage. Oh, yeah, let's make her a hard hitter there. And then over here we can go for... Sniper rifle damage by loads, or power damage. I don't really see Ashley using either, to be honest. I, I don't think of her as a sniper or a biotic. What are her skills? She doesn't really have any. I guess it's that one, right? I can make him into a sniper, I guess. Yeah, Alright then. That's more like it. Ooh. 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 Damage for me. <laughs> no, but assault rifle damage. That's that's more the kind of thing I would have put Ashley in, so. Let's grab that. Tons and tons of that. Um, let's have a look at this. Is there squad stuff? Yeah, squad bonus. Oh, only 50%. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to put some points in this. Not enough points for that. Okay. And James. James is my tank. I'm going to give him incendiary ammo. Can I just click over here? Will that work? Boo. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> just, just gonna get some stuff, basically. Make him nice and tanky as well. So I'm gonna hold off on my own for now. I have to, I have to research. <laughs> I just do. I can't help it. It's who I am. Okay. All right. Okay. We good? What have I got gun wise? All right. Okay. Well, obviously we want a shotgun, but uh, we'll have to wait for that. Damn, 
Charge. That needs to be mapped to Y. Uh, incendiary ammo, we're going to map to RB, I think. And shockwave to. Yeah. Looks a lot bigger in person. Come on, Lieutenant. It's not that bad. That's a, mean it can't kill us. It's a hell of a I'm storm. I'm worried about the war back on Earth, or the fact that nobody here is reporting in. Fair enough. Now, pointing away your ah, no, no, pointing away your gun is a different button on this game than it was on the last game. On it. I don't know how you do it. It's not back anymore. It used to be hold the back button. And it's changed. That's very upsetting. I have to figure it out. All right, you right, squad? Let's go. So this is Mars. Because you're curious, it's lovely. I can't believe I'm level 30. That's nuts. What's that? There we have a sniper rifle. Right. I'm gonna change loadout, but only because I actually think um, I might have some stuff I want to use anyway. So shotgun. That's what we we're looking for right there. So we've got a couple available. Oh my god, we've got loads available. We've got six available. Um, you can see we actually have a weight thing, and the less weight you carry, the better your power recharge speed, and power recharge is actually super important for us as a vanguard, so I think what we do is basically take a crazy ass shotgun, like that one. That's pretty good, that's like a straight upgrade. It's so light as well. And maybe we take a pistol. And that's it. I don't really want to mess around with all this stuff. I think we take as few guns as we possibly can and keep our recharge speed really high. Either us, however, different story. So let's give her a nice uh, big old... Oh my god, so much stuff. Uh, that one seems really bad. Seems pretty good. Accurate. Yeah. And what's this? I don't really want her to have a shotgun. I'm gonna get rid of that. I want her to be ranged. I'm gonna give her a sniper rifle and... Oh, I can only carry one back gun. Wait, let me try that out. I just can't give her a sniper rifle. Hmm, wonder why. I just gave her a bunch of sniper rifle damage. Why can't I do it? Okay, she can only carry these two guns anyway, so... I guess I'll give her them. And James! James can carry a sniper rifle. How bizarre. <laughs> There we go, give him a bit of a beast, and... There you go. Enjoy, buddy. Alliance, Sergeant Reeves. Doesn't look like you put up a fight. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. I want to try my charge out. I'm very excited to get back to my old Vanguard abilities. Oh. That's oh, Cerberus? Shit. They're executing them. That's Cerberus. <gasps> did you see what I just did? <laughs> it's a clear shot. Yeah, but I, I Yeah, but I have a shotgun, buddy. What do you think I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going in! <laughs> We're back in business, folks. Oh my god, that's shredded! <laughs> I died so quickly! Oh my god. Right, insanity's gonna kick my ass a little bit. Okay, I'm ready for that though. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, okay, maybe we need to be a bit more careful initially. The enemies are gonna scale to us, so... Do not like this pistol. I want to go in, that's what I do. Alright, those at the back. Fire. I'm going in. Am I going in? Oh boy. Bloody Nora. It's worth bearing in mind, I haven't put any of my skill points in, other than the default stuff. Sure look like it. What's Cerberus doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know? 
I'm not with them anymore, Ash, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit convenient. Of course, we had our big falling out with Cerberus at the end of the game, after we destroyed the Collector's base. I wonder what happens if you don't destroy the base? I thought about that, actually. Look out! Whoa! Oh, hello. Uh. Huh. Huh. Oh, there's grenades. I need a more powerful shotgun. I need one that, um... I need one that does more damage. Fires slower. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Kind of suggests they had help. From the inside. Seems likely. You'd need a lot more men and firepower to take this place otherwise. Alright, I want people that- I'm gonna count my deaths in this playthrough, because I think we're gonna rack them up. I'm on one so far. And that will be the last one. <laughs> cough, cough. I really need to figure out how you put your gun away. Is there like a control sink? Of course not. I need a straight answer, Shepard. About what? Do you know anything about this? What is Cerberus doing here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You worked for them. How am I supposed to believe you've cut all ties? We join forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. They rebuilt you from scratch. They give your ship, resources... Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I just... She's being a little edgy, but to be honest, she's being less edgy than she was in Mass Effect 2, so I appreciate it. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. Eh, I'm not sure about that. Given the situation, I can understand her uh, reticence. Word of the day, by the way, reticence. Please trust me. I do. It's just that... Liara, what are you doing in a vent? You're the shadow broker, Liara. Get out of there. Some stormtrooper level aim right there, isn't it? That's my girl. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, it was difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Packet ordered us to come. Said you know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here? On Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... 
Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the Archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. Poor guy. They're getting closer. We should take cover. I need my girls. It's the OG Scott Liara. Ashley is Mass Effect 1 all over again. I love it. So Liara's got some cool stuff. Um, there's a bigger thing in this game about combining powers together. Now, it's nothing that I'm particularly well set up for, admittedly, but it will be a thing. So, go. Not a problem for someone with biotics. Look at that. My girl is a monster. Absolute monster. You can't hide forever. Oh boy. Wait for it. You're going to need more than guns to finish them, Shepard. All right, all right. Do you want to do it again? Are you ready? I really want to figure out how I put my gun away. It's really upsetting me. <laughs> I love that though. That's very cool. Weirdly, it doesn't feel like Mass Effect, but it is the third game, and we saw there was a huge change in. This is a secure station. Hmm. How did Cerberus get in? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Well, that Didn't achieve. even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Ah, now we can jump across. Okay, I just wanted to have a little scout around just in case. I don't think Cerberus will be working with the Reapers. That seems unlikely to me. But I will admit, I do. I genuinely don't know why Cerberus are here, what they're doing, why, what their plan is. This feels very, very new to me. Even this mission early on in the game, I don't recognize it. I just don't. I don't have the experience of Mass Effect Three, which worries me. <laughs> what? Wait, double tap A while walking towards... Oh yeah, cool. You can see how, for Mass Effect 1, which was very stodgy in its combat, Mass Effect 2 definitely upped that a little bit, made it much more dynamic, and then Mass Effect 3 has gone way, way, way further in that direction. Rolling and dodging and jumping over things and all this kind of stuff. And yet I can't put my gun away. <laughs> Well, that's the right way. Let's have a little peek. That's ah, stuff in there. Shepard, take cover. <clears throat> Quick kill? <gasps> it's like stealth! Amazing! Oh, hello. As it turns out, it's a terrible idea. That doesn't matter. It was amazing. Ooh, that feels pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little unconvinced. There's something about the movement felt off to me, but I think it's just because I've just finished Mass Effect 2. Like, to, like yesterday, basically. So, it felt very different, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting into it again. I'm getting into it again. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. I will admit, I don't like that I started at such a high level. Like, I'm okay with some XP transferring like it did in uh, Mass Effect 3, but I think starting level 30 is pushing the boat a Damn little it. bit too far. Security's been tampered with. Yes, we can change loadout, right? This is what I want to do. Um, I'm not convinced on the shotgun. It's, it, it says it's got a really low fire rate, but it clearly doesn't. It's a beast of a fire rate. I think I'm going to swap over to the Venom instead. I want something slow. I wish I could actually just go test them out, you know? The heavy pistol, this one, the same problem. I want a, I want a slower pistol. Oh, but not so heavy either. There we go. There's a nice little theme going on there. <clears throat> Liara. I mean, I suppose Liara, we want her keeping low weight as well. Does it matter with people, though? I don't know about that. 
Geth Plasma SMG, why not? <laughs> Some of the, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Let's pick something that looks more Liara-like, not this skull-covered monstrosity we've got going on here. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the Pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Hey, did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Corre. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Let's try this one out, I guess. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, I have so many points to put in. I'm going to ignore pull again, probably. I think... Wait, let me have a look. Maybe I can decide myself. Hmm. So power damage and force by 25% doesn't actually sound that useful. I think weapon damage is what we go for there. Increases barriers by an additional 50%. Yeah, that... I mean, we definitely want that one. That's always the one we want. I can, I can make my own decisions. I can. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. I think I'm going to go for weapon synergy. As in, you go in, and then your shotgun blast will do 15% extra damage, so you pop in and you destroy whoever you land on. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to grab that. We want the full barrier recharge, guaranteed. That's exactly what we took last time, and 100% what I wanted this time as well. Not sure about this one. Ooh. I'll, I'll do a little more thinking on the others. Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Weapon synergy. There we go. Did I press Y? I may have pressed Y. Yeah, I did. Um. Okay, cool. I'm gonna wait. Sorry, the aura. Uh, singularity seems really strong, so let's put some points into that. Lasts for thirty percent longer, which is one point two seconds. Or, oh yeah, I don't like the The radius increase is very small. Right, we're going to go for that one. 25 damage per second. Eh, I think recharge speed seems better to me. And detonate singularity when the field dies. That sounds pretty cool. Expand it by 35%. I'm going to go for damage. Okay. And <clears throat> I guess now, because the, the ammo is only... 50% shared, it makes more sense to put stuff in this, right? Last vulnerable opponents already lifted by biotics. Right, so you see what I mean? So this will actually do more damage if somebody is lifted up by singularity. I think this might do stuff. So they all kind of like all the bio stuff kind of links together now. One point for a 20%. I'm going to put a couple points in this just because 40%. Recharge bonus is really good. I think just that, and then maybe... I kind of just want to build her as a biotic. Yeah, screw it. 100% recharge speed bonus, and she can have one point in warp ammo. Okay, uh, finally... Just keep boosting this grenade thing. So, damage by 30% or re impact radius. I think... Hmm. I'm going to go with impact. My, my only concern is because I'm playing on the hardest difficulty that I can do want to... I want to min-max a little bit and make sure we're as strong as we can be. Oh, yeah. Not totally sure how I feel about that one. I think I'll be changing this one as well. <laughs> I will find a shotgun that I like. Just give me some time. This one's odd. Ooh. Ladders, ladies and gentlemen. Ladders. What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. Good lads. Good lasses. Barely. Storms causing interference. I didn't read that, James. Repeat. Airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was for 
important. No, you have to override security protocols. There's that little bit of purple there. It definitely sounds like they've had someone on the inside, you know? <gasps> I have a flashlight! Why is that so exciting to me? Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Oh god. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. Alright, Cerberus, I don't know what you've been up to, but I don't like it. Cam, who the hell is that woman? Can I just point out, by the way, you never got this in Mass Effect 2. They removed this from Mass Effect 2 entirely. Um, you kind of had to go into the codex and you could read up on things, but you never picked up information anymore. It was a really weird omission for an RPG. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing in my files? Get her out of here! I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who'll be gone next week. Damn strangers who think they know it all but don't care about what we're really trying to achieve here. Dr. Eva, seriously? Don't you remember what happened last time? That was show down to Cameron Harrison. And Eva was, of course, the doctor that Liara mentioned last time. The woman we saw on the, uh, the video cam back in the office. I love this land. It's light. It's making me very happy. <laughs> Flashlight. Some glass can be broken. Let's find out, shall we? Pew, 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 pew. What the hell is this pistol? <laughs> What's going on? All my weapons are nonsense. All my weapons are nonsense. Um. Ashley, can you like chuck a grenade or can someone do something? There we go. <laughs> what on earth have I picked up here? I hate all of them. I hate all of them. <laughs> They're both so bad. Oh my god. Ooh, SMG scope. I'm gonna let my I'm gonna let my girls take care of this. I need to find a bloody weapon change thing at some point. This is not okay. Ugh, no, 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 no. I just want a normal shotgun, alright? Bloody Nora. Um all the all the weapons are actually from DLC and stuff like that. There was like little deluxe edition packs that gave you some variety. None of them are necessarily better than the others, it's just choice and variety, I guess. I need to find another gun though. <laughs> no, please. I don't know. I think you, what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna melee people. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna punch everybody to death. That'll fix my problems. Hmm. Ah, right. I didn't see that somehow. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Well, let's find out. Security station. Come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as... Uh... Whoa. Was that... Was that... Was that Eva? Corey? I guess we know how Cerberus got in. She popped up a week ago. I should and, have realized yeah. it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends. Loved ones. What I'd lose if I failed. Me too. Aww. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Right. This seems like a good time to end things. 
I'm very confused about my entire life right now. Okay, cool. Right, we're going to end it there. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, for the start of Mass Effect 3. I'm going to do a little bit of research. Because I've messed around with the save editor, I'm a little worried that the level 30 thing was a mistake coming in from the save editor, if that makes sense. In which case, I might have to find a way to fix it and redo this, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to do a little research into builds and stuff like that, because it is insanity and I've not played the game in so long. Um, but I'm feeling pretty confident about my choices so far. And excited to, yeah, excited to give this a go. Really, really excited. Don't have anything to add to that. So thank you for joining me. If you are new to the channel, I do recommend you go check out Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 before watching this playthrough because, you know, it will only take you 50 hours to watch the whole thing. That's all. Psha And it will give a lot of context to the relationships like Ashley and both of these characters who are huge characters in the history of Mass Effect already. And they are more than Ashley, I would say, but hey ho. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Right, thank you for joining me. Hope you're excited. I'll see you folks next time. Cheers, what's up as always. Bye-bye.